Hi guys, I'm going to share a fact about one of the Groomon animals, but it's actually not a goat, but I thought the video might be more interesting with a goat or a couple of goats in it. So the animal that I want to share with you about today is the animal that, you know, everyone thinks is the most important animal and it is an important animal, but they're all really important and they've all got their role to pay. So the animal, let's see if you can guess what it is. This is the animal that helps you make really good decisions. It helps you be a good friend. It helps you with higher order thinking. So that means problem solving. So it means when you hit an obstacle, you can kind of think, okay, well, what is another way I could go about it? Any ideas? The animal is the wise owl. Now the wise owl has a fancy brand, brain name and that fancy brain name is the prefrontal cortex. And the thing with the prefrontal cortex is it's still developing and it's developing really until you're in your 20s. So we really need to wake it up, especially when we're at school, because if you think it's the one helping you make good decisions. So if a friend says, hey, let's go jump on the school roof because the teacher just turned around, your wise owl might kick in and go, hmm, it sounds like fun, but it's not a very good decision. Or let's say that you're feeling really angry with a friend and perhaps they're not being very kind to you and you feel like to push them or to say something really unkind. Well, your wise owl will kick in and say, hey, let's make a good decision. Maybe it's time for me to walk away or maybe it's time for me to take three deep breaths. That's a good decision. So you always have choices, even if it feels like you don't have a choice. So here's a way that you can wake up your wise owl. You can move your body in the morning. That really helps you to wake up your wise owl. You can really commit to reading and learning new things. That wakes up your wise owl. Another way to wake up your wise owl is just to go and splash your face with a bit of water and go, okay, what's the next thing I need to get on with? I know it sounds silly, but splashing your face with water can be a really good way just to go, whew, reset, okay, what do I need to do? Another really good way to wake up your wise owl, it's the same actually with your elephant, which I'll talk about too, is just to make sure that every night you get a good night's sleep. And if you don't get a good night's sleep and you're lying in bed and you're worried about it, thinking, oh no, my prefrontal cortex is not gonna be good, just think, I'm just going to rest, I'm going to chill, I'm going to take some deep mindful breaths. So don't panic too much, just start to think about sleep as something that you need to prioritise. Alright guys, that's the wise owl. Bye bye.